What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a video. Hopefully I can help out uh, everybody with the ramp and are having this air conditioning problem. So I got some uh, thermometers. I got uh, the one that's actually supposed to go into the vent of the AC. Now I know it varies depending on the weather outside. It's not that high yet. It's only like 82, I think 83. Yeah. So According to this, it's 83 outside. And for you guys that keep asking me, uh, Eddie, how are you liking this truck? Man, I am loving this truck right here. This thing is just, it's incredible, guys. All right, guys, so real quick, I have stuck the thermometer in here. And right now it is 91 outside. Currently, I'm gonna keep it at 65 miles an hour. And according to the AC, and I got the AC set to, uh, I believe just, you know, I know a lot of you guys said, you know, put on max AC. Uh, the reason why I don't want max AC is because it just comes out so fast, like so much, and that's not how I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna drive with it, you know, on level four, five. I usually put on three. I'm gonna put on five now and see, uh, go from three, four, five, see if the temperature changes right now. But we got it on AC, and it is currently at, if you guys can see, this 51.7 let me see it's dropping uh, it's looking like it's at now it's 51.9 so it looks like it's at 50 so it looks like it's at 52 degrees uh, that's what it's coming out on now a lot of you guys said oh don't put it on you know recycle It'll get colder okay well we'll try that so we'll turn that off there you go so just the um, AC is on not the uh, you know the uh, recycle button this thing will focus all right so just AC now let's see uh, what we're at here so with it being just air conditioning and not um, not the recycle we are at it says 54, so it's, I mean, I don't know, I'd say between 52 to 54. Now let's, let's push this again, the recirculate button, all right, and see uh, now what the temperature, if it drops, if it goes higher. I don't know if you guys can see that, so looks like it's at 53 still still doing almost 65 a little more than 65 we'll do 70 there we'll do 70 and see uh, what that does but it looks like uh, the air conditioning in this thing and I know you guys are saying um, go check out another I think it was PD diesel he was having problems too uh, I think it was low but I'm curious to know what his temperature is coming out so mine is it's pretty much coming out 52 degrees guys 50 52 degrees um to me that's not very cold 52 i i thought it'd be a lot colder than 52. i'm gonna check uh this vent right here on this side and see what that's coming out at so this is coming at okay so this one for some reason is at 49 now it could be the compressor cycling also on and off on and off let's see uh, if it stays there still at 48 48.8 48.4 so it's still around that 50 range uh, let's grab it put it back into this one here there we go see what this reading we get right here all right so this one is reading at 50 50.4 i don't know if you guys can see that sorry if you can't see that uh now we're at 50.8 and i tested the uh, big Lou's dually also on his new ram and his is doing the same thing it's not these things are not getting below 50 degrees so I'm gonna turn it down now. Let's turn it down to what I usually drive at three. Right, I got put it at three. Now let's see. Uh, let's see what it says here. So uh, looks like same thing. Fifty. Is that fifty point five? Fifty point six. All right. So it looks like it's 
it's at 50 degrees. Um, you know, I don't know. It doesn't seem very cold to me, guys. But I'm gonna. We're gonna try to compare it to another truck. Uh, I, I would like to compare it. Well, I did compare it to Lewis's truck. His was coming out the same. So I don't know if that's normal, or I don't know if Ram uh, all their trucks came. You know, I don't know. Low on Freon. Actually, what we should do, we should take this to the shop. Yeah, maybe we'll take this to my shop and uh, hook it up to the AC machine and see if it is low. But I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let me know. Comment down below. Cause I know, like my GM blew way colder than that. I mean, and I think I have a photo. I swear it was like 20 degrees. It was insane how cold it was. And it was the R134A. This system is the R134A also. So I'm wondering if this is low. I should probably go uh, check it and see. All right, guys, we just pulled up to the shop. And um, well, I'm gonna see, you know, we're gonna hook up the AC machine. I'm gonna see, is this thing really low? I mean, did all these rams come low? Because if it is, I, you know, that's um, that's strange. I don't know, but we're about to find out. So uh, we're gonna get out here, get the AC going. Uh, we gotta lift this car real quick so I can pull forward. That's one thing about the shop, as you guys know, a truck can barely fit in here. I mean, we got this ram in here, and we gotta park it sideways so cars can still drive through there without, you know, hitting uh, our trucks. Okay, ram is here. Efren wants to know why we're here. I think Efren. There's something wrong with the AC. I think the Freon is low. No way. I think. So everybody's having AC problems with these things, and everybody's taking them to the dealer, and they're saying they're fixing them by just adding Freon. Now, I put my thermometer in there. It's coming out 50 degrees when it was 94 degrees outside. 50 degrees, which is good. That's, that's what I figure. It's good, but I remember my Duramax. It can be 100 outside. That shit was coming out like 20 degrees. I don't want to write another invoice for that. Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. Um, and we need to, we're gonna get the AC machine. It's still the R134A, it's not the 1234. So we're gonna hook up the AC machine to it and see uh, well, if one, it, one thing that I think. <laughs> Uh-oh, Heffron's thinking. What happened, wait, why do you think? 2020. 2019. 2019, well, I mean, you, you have problems with the fucking AC? I don't know. I don't know if we have problems or not. I don't know. It's working great. It works fine. I'm just going off of the people, uh, what they're saying from the forums. Yeah, they're saying a lot of them came low. New, and they got issues with them. And that's supposed to be 50. Honestly. It's I mean, not. That's what I'm thinking. It's supposed to be lower. Yeah. Well, we're going to find out. We're going to see if it's low. But, I mean, I don't want to take it to RAM and let them, you know... I don't like them touching my stuff, so. I know, what do you think? I'm gonna Let's check. I think they said when it was made in Mexico, the guy's name. Oh, maybe the, because the, the weather is different in Mexico. See, anyway, see, the weather is different, but, and there was oh, a, a it's, guy. It's cold over there, so they need to be, be, Well, there was a guy, there was a guy they said named Efrain that did my AC in Mexico. So maybe. Uh, and I, I didn't good, huh? I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna find out, but. And here you go, guys. It is uh, the R134A right there. Let that uh, focus for you real quick. There you go. Maybe because it's low in washer fluid. Uh, well, no. I filled the blinker fluid and the washer fluid. And this, the new trucks, they have LED fluid now. See, mira, mira, aquí. Come here. So, so see, the LEDs right here. If you don't fill the LED fluid, LEDs don't work. See, wait. And, and, and what kind of air you put in the tire? Uh, it's like runs off of multiple things, water, soda, see, si, see, si, uh, sun, you know, coca, you can put whatever you want in it. So anyway, so let's get the AC machine now. In case you don't know where the fittings are. Also, well, that's a good question. Yeah, if you guys don't know where the AC fittings are, you got one there. And where's the other one? It's way down there, huh? Right. Narrate right correctly. This is discharge side. This is suction side. All right. And we're using the snap-on. And if you don't understand that, don't work on AC. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> so um, we're using the snap-on machine here. Uh, well, if you guys are wondering how much this thing is, it's extremely expensive. And this thing's More nice because, car. yeah, and this thing's nice because it will tell you, well, pretty much does the work for you, tells you how much is in it, but we don't know uh, if it goes to 19. No, I know it doesn't. No, what does it go? Can we update it? I uh, don't know yet. You should right. ask Phil and see. Okay, so we're gonna. It's gonna pull what everything out of it and see, tell us what it pulled out. It's gonna pull everything out. It's gonna filter it and it's gonna 
going to tell you exactly how much it pulled out. Okay. Right there is what it's going to tell you when it's done. All right. Here we go, guys. We'll see. Stay tuned. Uh, so this same ram is here for AC. Uh, we fixed it though. It was just looks like just a fuse. But we're looking over there. He just bought it. This has the manual uh, transmission in it, and this customer is loving this truck. All right, guys. Here we go. Two seconds. Let's see what it says. Recovering in progress. Oh. Uh, okay. So. Oh, it's going up. Yeah, 131. Yeah, it's supposed to have one. Well, this is still going up. Hold on. Yeah. Recovering in progress. Recovered. So it's, I mean. So I think it just got to 1.28. Draining oil, please, 8. All right, here we go, guys. So recovery complete. It has recovered 1.29. Now, going, uh, you know, 0 0.2, is that going to make a difference? Um, no, probably not. I, I'm not going to think 0.2 is going to make a difference. So now we're, he's going to put it uh, back in. And we'll see. Uh, maybe we got better free on here. It's probably not, but we'll see. Well, only goes, we go to 15. 15. Yeah. Now, what does it matter the year if you just put the right proper pound? Well, I can in? put the poundage in, but if I go by the year, it's already programmed. Oh, it does it for you. Well, because I don't have it, I look in the here and I put in what's supposed to be in it. Okay. So I put cancel. You can do it in units or pounds. So now I'm setting the number that's supposed to be in the system. 1.31, it said, guys. I'm going to push OK. I like to charge it in the low side. Next. Start. Yes. Purging air. Now it's going to inject the free on in. Should I start it? Not yet. Not yet. All right. All right, guys. Uh, my tech told me to start it and kick the AC on. So we'll see. All right. AC's on. Crank it to high. And uh, we'll see uh, what the machine says. 175 to 250 is where the number should be. That's right on. All right. So now we're going to start equalizing the system. Disconnect the high side hose. Yes. Okay, so now we're in here. It's running. Um, I got the thermometer in here. It's set too high. Uh, you know, I don't know. I think this is it guys it doesn't really feel that cold. I guess this truck it is what it is um, I, You know 1.31. It's kind of low like this 2008 Ram right here that we're doing AC on holds 1.81 Why you know would they put less? I don't know. I'm sure there's a reason but I'm curious to know why put less Freon or a smaller AC system in these new trucks and these older ones You know the big one they blow so cold uh, like I said the Duramax it was freezing blew amazing uh, this thing, not not so, not very cold. It's only down to 55.2, and it is 89 degrees outside. 51.5. So it looks like uh, that's about it, guys. I guess I don't know. Let me know uh, if anybody out there has gotten this thing below. I will try it obviously uh, in the winter time and see what it does. Actually, this weekend it's supposed to be cold, so only supposed to be like 80 and not you know almost 90. And we're by the beach right now. Uh, my house is like 94, I believe, 95 it said right now. So we'll see when it's cool outside, 80 degrees or 75 degrees, uh, what the temperature does. But we're going to kill the high idle switch here. I think you just touch the brake. There you go. Touch the brake and boom, it's done. Now we'll check. So this is 52. We'll check this side over here and see uh, see what this oops, see what this one says right over here. On the passenger side. And I put it down to four, the fan. All right, so it looks like, oh, geez. What is the passenger side colder or something? Wow, look at that. 46, drop in, 
Oh, no, now it's going back up. So I'm guessing the compressor has turned off, but wondering why he got down to 46 and the driver's side did not. Still at 46. Forty-five point eight. What the? Why is that? All right. So let's see. I'm gonna go on the same. That's number two there. Here we go. Same thing right here. Let's see. So this one is climbing big time. Hmm. That's very strange. Uh, I yeah. I don't. I don't got no answer for you on that. <laughs> Let me know. I guess. Uh, you guys comment down below. I'm curious to see uh, your comments, your thoughts. Um, PD Diesel, if you're watching, uh, let me know on your RAM. Everybody else out there has a RAM, let me know if this is normal. Uh, it's at 50 degrees normal, and I'm gonna try this passenger side again. I'm curious to know why it uh, got so low. Let's see. Okay, well, I guess it looks like if you're sitting passenger uh, in my RAM, you're gonna be nice and cool. I'm not sure why this is dropping and the driver's side is not. That's very strange. Okay, Efrain, enjoy the burrito. Carne was very good way. Now I'm gonna go drive this thing, see how cold we can get the AC. All right, let me know. Adios, I see you later. See that license plate right there? Adios. Adios, muchachos. All right, now that we're driving, uh, not very fast, we can only go about 45, 50. Uh, just because there's a little traffic, but uh, this is still reading the same thing, guys. 54, 55. So, I mean, it looks like uh, for all the Ram guys out there, if your temperature is coming out at this, you know, temperature, uh, I guess that's normal. I mean, I don't know. We evacuated it, we put the proper uh, Freon that's supposed to be in it, and uh, this is it. That's all we got. So, uh, apparently, well, uh, let the comments begin. The Dodge AC clearly is not that cold. <laughs> so, uh, it is what it is, guys. I don't know if there is a fix. I just think that's it. But let me know. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. I do know the older trucks, man, they are like 10 times better than this. All right, guys. So, anybody with these trucks, and this is the second time it happened. I don't know if it's coincidence or what, but it just happened again right now. Uh, Highway Patrol is behind me, turned his lights on to go past me or do whatever and my volume gets turned down. It did it like a week ago, I wanna say, when there was an ambulance trying to get through. When it got close, my volume went down again. So, let me know, am I going crazy? Or does these trucks, I don't know, they sense sirens, uh, the volume turns down. I don't know, I might be the just tripping out of my mind. Uh-oh, we got some broken down. Got a broken down Ford over here. Oh, that sucks, and they're camping. Let's pull over and see if they need some help. Man, that's the worst thing in the world. Going on vacation, you're just trying to get to somewhere and you end up getting broken down. Well, let's go see if they need some help. All right, so it looks like, guys, it was just some uh, fan screws. They got it all uh, taken care of and uh, figured everything out. Oh, we gotta test the Ram out, there we go. Get it, woo, yeah, you know what, you guys say these Rams are slow, don't race with it, but boy, uh, she's pretty quick. Gotta say, she's booking it. Better put my seatbelt on over here. So yeah, if you guys see anybody on the side of the road, try to help them out if you can. I mean, you know, just especially uh, people going on vacation. That happened to actually be when I pulled up a subscriber uh, and he follows my Instagram page. She was like, come on, he's like, yo, what's going on? And I'm like, oh, okay. So you see guys, a small world, you never know who you're gonna run to, so especially because he's a subscriber. I'm glad I stopped and uh, checked to see if he needed any help. Well, there you have it guys. Sorry, I could not compare it to another truck. Uh, I wanted to compare it to another GM or another um, Ford out there, but uh, we'll see when maybe Alcalator comes or uh, I head to my dad's house, go try his uh, AC in his truck and see. But uh, comment down below what you guys think. Anybody else that has a Ram, uh, let me know. Let me know if you, you're, you know, it's only coming out of 50 degrees, your temperature, uh, if it feels cold, if it doesn't feel cold. Uh, comment down below. I'm curious to see. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.